Hey guys, so tonight I'm getting ready to go out for dinner with some girlfriends and I thought I'd show you how I get ready. Washed and blow dried my hair straight and I like to put it in a ponytail just about there, kind of tight so that when I take it out I've got like a kink in my hair kind of around where my jaw ends, if that makes sense. And then I was going to use my primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is one that like smooths out your pores. I'm going to give this foundation a try again. The Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. Now this time I need to use just a small amount because do you remember what happened last time? Oh my god. It was a nightmare. I put too much on and it went crazy on my face. Wow, I love that now, but I just put a smaller amount on. Yes! Man, I freaked myself out when I did it last time. I put so much on, I looked so scary. It blanked out like all my features. <sighs> okay, now I'm gonna use Lancome Brow Gel. Brows are a serious business, guys. I probably look like I'm about to kill somebody on my expression right now. I got this Kat Von D Locket uh, color correcting eyeshadow primer. Oh, it's like a stick, okay. It's kind of uncomfortable to use something hard and pointy on your eye. Eyeball. And a bit crumbled off, but otherwise it's pretty easy to work with. I just don't like drawing on my eyeball with like something firm like that. Oh, hurts a bit. This is the Tartlet Bloom palette, and it's really beautiful. Start out by putting Charmer and Flower Child, probably just from the socket up to the brow bone. We do that, of course, to prep the area for blending eyeshadows into the crease kind of thing. Alrighty, I'm going to take this one called Funny Girl, which is a nice gold and... Oh, you can't see shit. Okay, there you go. Now you can. I'm gonna... Oh, Lord. Yeah, check that out. Mm-hmm. That's what I wanted to see. I'm going to take mm, Jet Setter. Through the crease. Blendy, blendy, blend as we go with circular motions. Blending is a process, so just take your time, you know, dip back into the palette if you need. Wipe your brush off if you need. I'm gonna take that straight under the eye with that blending brush. I love the looks where under my eye is super soft and like hazed out. Kind of like I've been punched in the face. It's a really good look. Gonna take the first color just in the socket there. Wait, no, that's not my socket. What the hell? In a corner. Why am I holding my brush like a three year old? Look at that. I'm like. Oh my god, what the? I'm gonna take these two once more and just make sure it's nice and blendy up there. Taking a larger, soft but firm brush, if that makes sense. Can you see the way that that's pressing on my hand? Soft but uh, has a bit of pressure to it. And I'm just using that to. Oh lord, just making sure that's all very soft under my eyes with my studio. Skin. 24 hour concealer. One's dots, one's lines. I'm gonna have to mm -hmm, that's better. Do I need to conceal anywhere else? No, lucky me. Alright. <sighs> Party time, excellent Wayne's World. Now let's go in here with just gentle pressing motions. I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever bronzer. On this 
fat brush that needs to lose weight. Oh, <laughs> did you just come at me? Just gonna generally bronze my face. I'm doing a non-tour, as in like, I'm not contouring. <laughs> Okay, this brush is too soft, it's doing nothing. I'm gonna take this hopefully better brush. <sighs> take that big fat brush over it again. This is the Pink Spectrum palette from Zoeva. That's what it looks like, it's very cute. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna try this one. This is nice. It's called PK010. Easy to remember name. This is the tapered highlighter brush from Siwa. Gonna add some of the one next to it. To highlight, I've got my glow kit from Anastasia. I have two. Which one should I use? Mm, I think this one. Do you think that will be too dark for me? Maybe I'll use Moonstone. You need such a small amount of this stuff, like it's crazy. Oh, I just realized I haven't put like mascara on. What? Burp. Totally gonna need mascara and lashes. That was so weird. I can't believe I got that far without even like doing them. Gonna try the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Knockout Defining Lift and Fan Mascara. These are the lashes I'm going to use, Lily Galici's Hollywood Lashes. I'm just going to take Fashionista, a black eyeshadow, hold this under my eye. And I'm going to put it on the lashes underneath there because there's a bit of glue on these now. And I just want to mattify the glue. Oh, there's no fallout with that. I am now very delicately patting some on the lash line to mattify the glue on the lash line. That also smokes out the liner look because these lashes have a thicker band so it adds a liner effect. Now onto my lips. What color should I use? I'm finishing the look with Ciate Liquid Velvet in Risqué. And that finishes the look. I really like how that looks. That's a really good lip color. The wand is uh, probably the easiest I've ever used to apply liquid lipstick. And I like the size, it's not like massive because I will never get through even a tube of this. So I appreciate that it's just a bit smaller. Um, okay, I'm gonna go get changed now and show you guys my outfit.